So here I am at the beautiful Menger Hotel across from the Alamo in San Antonio. I just had the honor of speaking to these incredible financial professionals. You will not find a group of women who are more dedicated and incredible, wonderful ability to take finance and bring it to a whole other level. These are the people who don't just strive, they thrive. These are the financial women in Texas. Ladies and gentlemen. So we all have it, especially when we are kids. You see, kids don't know what they can't do. It is a power that literally takes us to places we've only dreamed of. It is the unstoppable power of enthusiasm. The three pillars of enthusiasm are vision, belief, and gratitude. I learned this lesson from an unlikely source. On my way to do my radio show in San Antonio, five o'clock in the morning, I'm driving and I pull into a place called Taco Cabana. They sell breakfast tacos. And so I pulled in and normally I hear crackling in the speaker and I can't understand what they're saying. But this morning I heard, welcome to Taco Cabana. How may I serve you? And I thought, oh, they have recordings now. So I gave my order and that same voice said, all right, we'll have it for you. Come right on up. So now I was really intrigued. I pull into the drive through and there is this lovely lady who introduces herself and says, hi, my name is Ruby. What is your name? Puts her, her hand inside the car. I'm going, uh, my name is Sunny. She says, well, we're going to have some fresh tacos for you. We're making some bacon. And did you want two sweet and lows, honey? I'm getting five star service at a drive through I couldn't wait to get on the air to tell my listeners about Ruby, and I couldn't wait to get off the air to write a letter to the president of Taco Cabana. Well, as time went on, we'd have these little 30 second conversations. We came to find out that Ruby was a single mom, recently divorced. Her husband came home one day and said, I don't want to be married anymore. Literally, she had the rug pulled out from under her. And how easy it would have been for her to say, what happened? I had everything. Now, I'm working in the middle of the night for minimum wage. It's over. But that was not Ruby's attitude. Her attitude was one of enthusiasm. She thought to herself, I've got to get my 13-year-old son to college. I've just got to apply myself. And that's what she did. And one morning, she taught me a lesson that, well, I'll never forget. She said, and by the way, whenever you're on the radio, people are always asking you for prizes and money. And by the way, I don't have any with me right now. But <laughs> they literally are always asking you for things. And I drove up and she said, Sonny, you wouldn't by any chance have any tickets for tonight's Spurs basketball game, would you? I said, no, Ruby, I, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, I would like you to have mine. You see, I've been voted employee of the month and I cannot go and you're my best customer. I want you to have these tickets. Unbelievable. Well, I graciously accepted the tickets and I will tell you that that was several years ago. Ruby is now working for a major corporation and yes, her son did make it to college. The power of enthusiasm. I would encourage you to use your enthusiasm, not only for yourself, but for others. Have that vision of what it is you want. Believe in yourself. Each morning, look in the mirror and say, I believe in you. And be grateful for what you have. And most of all, remember that we are all here to help each other. Thank you.